there are termites in the Americas just as there are in Africa. So, of course, there are termite eaters too. And here in Brazil is the biggest of them all, the giant anteater. Its eyesight is very poor and it relies mostly on its sense of smell, which is very acute. But if I keep downwind of it, I may not disturb it too much. The truth of the matter is that ants and termites aren't very nutritious, so the giant anteater has to do all it can to conserve energy. And one way of doing that is to sleep for 15 out of 24 hours. It covers itself too with that big bushy tail to reduce heat loss to a minimum. And it also keeps its body at as low a temperature as any mammal, 32 degrees. That means, of course, that its brain doesn't work very fast. So it's not an animal with lightning reactions or a dazzling intelligence. But then you don't really need that if you're an anteater. And now I think I'll get out of its way. Termite mounds are more numerous here than anywhere, but the challenges facing a termite eater are nonetheless considerable. Anteaters and pangolins have different ancestors, but the demands of their diet have shaped them in similar ways. Both have big claws. The giants are the largest, in fact, of any mammal. And both have an immensely long tongue that slips through the tube formed by the toothless jaws, so that both can virtually drink termites. He may like teeth, but I'm going to treat him with caution because, in fact, those huge claws and those powerful front legs can be very dangerous. He can rip apart this termite hill and if he wants to defend himself, he will use those big bowed legs and their claws and grip you. It's even been said that the carcass of a jaguar was found in the embrace of one of these. Surprisingly, it only collected a few hundred termites on that brief visit. As soon as it breaks into a mound, the inhabitants attack it so ferociously that they drive it away. But quick sampling like this does have an advantage. The termites will soon replace the ones they've lost, so in effect, the anteater is harvesting the termite hills in its territory in a way that ensures a continuous supply. It may not have a dazzling intelligence, but nothing exploits termites more effectively than the giant anteater. <laughs>